victory. When one man isn't enough to handle the crappiness of Silver the Hedgehog. You invite another. To handle this very, very horrible character. Hi, I am Rando Chris. And I'm Hyper Chaotix Fox, Logan McLeod, wherever, whatever. He is known by many names, but he is here to help me handle this horrible game. This looks so beautiful. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. Wow, he's just so amazed by all this desert. Yeah, he says everyone's happy. I'm not happy. Well, I mean, I'm happy that <laughs> I'm happy. What, like, all, all the plants... He can actually sense the emotion of the plants back there. Everyone is so happy. God da- goddamn hippie. And wait a minute. And we also saw at the beginning of the game he actually saw Soliana like Soliana get blown up by Eggman. Yeah. That, yeah. Remember? Yeah. So <laughs> Or no, that, that was like oh, um oh. Elise having like some weird oh, right. flashback. Like, oh my god. Yeah, but remember at the very end where he's like, I finally found him. The ableist trigger. <laughs> Except he didn't sound like that. I finally found him. Yeah, I'm the able. I'm. I'm gonna save the future. <laughs> I'm gonna save the future by screwing up. The yeah. Past. <laughs> wow. Uh, Fail. Yeah, that was my fault. But really, this is just a terrible level. I mean, like it, it is just it is executed so terribly. Eh. I, had, I actually had an easier time with this level than I think most people, <laughs> but... I think you know what again, I'm talking I... about when I mean executed horribly. Yeah, yeah, I mean... I mean, everything... At, at least... I mean, like, save for one specific mechanic, everything else worked fine, but... That one mechanic is so bad, it just ruins it, like, it's so dreaded. Yeah. I, I... I'll bring it up when it actually comes up, but let's see. I'm glad you got the grabbing bullet mechanic down, sort of. Oh, yeah, I kind of, like, I, I do know what to do, like, well, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Cause what, yeah, it's kind of tricky, you actually have to be, like, facing the bullet. Well, yeah, that's obvious, because he can't put out his hand in front of him and be like, oh, psh, shot in the back of the head. Oh, this, yeah. Time to play pool. <laughs> Uh, I like how you move, and, it, and it's like Silver's like, oh, wait, it, it affects all of them? Yeah. <laughs> Which is the dumbest part out of this entire s- section. Mm. Because... Well, this particular puzzle, is, I, I think, is actually a little bit forgivable. Because it's like, you do it once, you don't get it, then it comes back and resets. Um, and you don't have to get it on. in, like, all the different holes. Like, one in each hole, like, you just have to put it... In one of them. Yeah, just put put any hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put the balls in the hole. Uh, I guess this is a good time to point out that, yeah, in the final battle in, in his campaign, Silver can lift pretty much a meteor, but he can pick up a bunch of, I don't know what they are, like what kind of balls they are, but yeah, he can't lift Billiard up Billiard balls. I know they're billiard. Billiards, I know right? they're billiard balls, but I mean like the material, like stone. Um, yeah, like they're like half stone. They're gold. Let's just say they're gold. Yeah, and he can't lift gold. Way to <laughs> my Achilles heel. Way to put on That's, the consistency, it's... Sega. <laughs> Silver's one of Silver's many kryptonites. One of them being intelligence. See, that's one of the things I like about this puzzle. It's kind of forgiving. If you if you just miss one, then it, it just gives you one instead of resetting the entire puzzle. Yeah, thank goodness. So, in this level, this that's actually the one of the better made puzzles. But that's not, I'm not saying it's good. I'm <laughs> yeah. saying it's one of the better made ones. <laughs> well, except for that giant wave of sand that's not really that forgiving. Um... Still, yeah, I mean, it doesn't bad. kill you, but when you get caught up in it, like, the camera just goes really bad, and it's hard to see where mm. you're at and see if you're going to run into a spiked ball or something. Yeah. The only, yeah, the only thing I don't like about those waves is the fact that it, it like, pushes you into a spiked ball. 
And then, uh, you know, you're picking spikes out of your ass afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing I will say, I mean, like, one of the things I can say about Silver is that at least when you get some of his other abilities, it makes some of the combat easier, but... Yeah. And also, and also a little bit more fun, too, but I mean... And I think balanced, but still. Yeah, because the thing I'm used to is doing that uh, shockwave move where he, like, jumps, puts his hand on the ground, and the enemies are shocked, and then you can just throw them. Yeah, I'm glad they have that. I don't understand this, though. Why does Amy turn invisible? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's part of her um, stalking Sonic abilities. Yes. Yeah, it's like it's like she's she's um the spy from TF2. I think it's because she's starting to be um I don't know, she's starting to be trained to find Sonic and catch him more easily because if you didn't notice in the cutscene before the level, she's like call it my girlish intuition that I know Sonic is here. <laughs> yeah, um her intuition that's also mistaken for Shadow, for Silver. And then she actually runs into the into the werehog, and she's like, "Who is that, son?" Oh, I'm sorry, stranger. But, uh, and but then the and then just Professor Pickle comes out of nowhere, and he's like, "Yes, it was." She's <laughs> like, "Oh, okay." Yes, it was. Now make me a pickle sandwich. Uh, I don't have <laughs> a cucumber sandwich, but okay. <laughs> oh, I just realized. What? How did I not realize this before? He likes cucumber sandwiches, and his name is Professor. Pickle. Oh yeah, <laughs> God. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if that was actually supposed to be a joke or what. Knowing Sega, <laughs> it probably was. Is it coincidence? Um, probably. It's Sega's writing. Yeah. It, it, like, when I think about that... Well, it, Sonic Team. When I think about that, it just reminds me of, like... I don't, I don't know what to call it. I guess I'll call it anime stereotypes, where, like, a character will have this one quirk that they always like to mention, like Chip and his chocolates... Yeah, um, that's that's not just Japanese animation. <laughs> well, I know, but it's, I think it's just children's an animation in general. Yeah, children's stories. Yeah, like the Super Mario Brothers cartoon where Mario's like, "Where's that boss?" No. Like he Super doesn't Mario sound. Brothers he doesn't media, sound like he geez. does. What was that? Super Mario Brothers media in general, because it's just like the Super Mario Brothers movie, the Super Mario Brothers show. Well, I know, but. The newer games. Yeah, but, like, Mario doesn't talk about spaghetti and stuff so much in the games than he did in the cartoon. Well, he barely talks at all. He goes, Yahoo! It's me, Mario! Sorry, bro. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Luigi! <laughs> yeah. Mario! Okay, so, yeah. More about Amy. Yeah, um, she... I like how the checkpoint, like, surprised her. <laughs> Oh, that was, yeah, that was, be that was because they're invisible. That, that's still baffling that, you know, because, like, the fact that she turns invisible means that they were just basically out of ideas. Like, what should Amy's special ability be? Um, um oh, I know. We'll make her, like, a ninja. It's, oh, that's SPO. Uh, we'll make her, like, a, 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 we'll, we'll give her, like, um, the ability to stick to walls or, wait, no, that's. Just, that, know, that's okay. SPO2. We'll just we'll just make her invisible. That'll yeah! work. Yeah, and we we let her keep her hammer, which has terrible range. Yeah, I think that the um, yeah, I think the actual side characters were one of the things that were kind of like, no, that's right. I remember hearing about the the development. They actually having all those characters in the game was supposed to be a big thing, but you know, like multiplayer. <laughs> and then you get Amy's ability, which is just invisible. Yeah. And and swinging her again, short ass hammer. Like you have to be in hitbox hitbox distance to even get the enemies. I know. Compare that to Sonic Adventure, Amy, where she had this huge hammer and just be like, try try to miss. <laughs> yeah. And tears to try to hit something. Yeah, and the thing that really gets to me about like. Stuff like this when you're ha when you have to use the boxes and stuff to throw at enemies, like you start running out of them, and then you're wondering, well, what the hell am I going to use other than bullets? And are they even going to shoot at me? <laughs> and even oh, I can oh, I can use her arms. And if that doesn't work, then oh, I don't know. Maybe I can uh, hmm, maybe I could use part of my body. 
<laughs> yeah, just Silver throws himself at the enemy. <laughs> I would actually <laughs> love. I would actually love the gameplay more yeah, if you had just, that ability. That would be awesome. It'd be like this. He just says, "It's no use," and just throws himself at the enemy. Just like stomach first, like huh. Head and then first. Sonic just like he just steps out of the way. Is like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I spend weeks learning that move. <laughs> it's Sonic. This is the homing attack. And He's just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Sonic just does the homing attack, and he's and Silver's just like, w what? Yeah. And Sonic's like, yeah, I can just do that. But I thought you were supposed to use your stomach. Well, it'd probably work better if you were fat. <laughs> yeah. So you're about as uh, thin as a toothpick. <laughs> Sonic looks at Silver. What kind of a hedgehog can't roll into a ball? <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> Silver's just looking around like, uh, I don't know. It's like Sonic can't swim, Silver can't roll into a ball. And Shadow uh, <laughs> can't really be positive. Well, I mean, that's not really a hedgehog thing, so I guess, comparatively, Shadow really is the ultimate hedgehog in all the games. Cause yeah, ultimate hedgehog, but not ultimate ball. life form, thank god. I, I I wish you would have stuck with Ultimate Life Form. That was cool at one point. Well, at least just for me, that was, when I was little, I thought it was cool. What him being the ultimate but, life form? The ultimate life form. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> and the ultimate hedgehog is just like, wow, what a step down. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, my ultimate it's the, hedgehog. A, a, it a mean new a... ultimate life form took over the, <laughs> the stand. As I was saying, um, ultimate hedgehog could mean like many different things. You know. Yeah, he's he's the best hedgehog, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Except, uh, you know, he can't really age, so he's going to outlive any people he comes to know. So he'll be leading down a lonely road of just nobody to talk to. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was thinking of, um, <laughs> when you said that, just like Boulevard of Broken Dreams with Shadow. <laughs> I think you're confusing the wrong band I with Shadow. Road. What? I think you're confusing the wrong band with Shadow. Don't you know it's all Green about? Day? Don't you know it's all about Lincoln Park? <laughs> <laughs> Crawling in my skin. These wounds. I don't know. I never saw the really Lincoln Park and Shadow. Because I, I think fans like make Shadow out to be more emo than he is, well, at least in the games. I've seen him in the comics, and I'm just like, wow. But <laughs> comics are definitely a different continuity. The games is like what's yeah that, that, sold to the public. Yeah. Like what the, what they push like out. Like yeah, this is what you we focus on the most. You remember the beginning of the game where Silver just like did a fast teleport to Iblis. Wait, a fast... You remember he was just like, a Silver, he's appeared again. Silver just looks at plays and then just like... Oh, yeah, 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 distance. that. Why uh, can't you do that? Oh, you can do... You you can have that <laughs> as one of your abilities, OP, but, but you still. only go about, like, what, five feet? No, you go, you go like, half a centimeter. <laughs> In, like, game... Like, you know, game location, yeah. Yeah. And Blaze, she has to run on the rooftops on like screen, she's one of the millimeter. Ninja Turtles. Blaze? Who? Oh, yeah. That actually sounds kind of weirdly cool. Blaze hanging out with the Ninja Turtles. I don't know why. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I, I, I say keep cer certain continuities out of other continuities. Yeah, so it yeah. It completely screwed up. <laughs> yeah, I, I should definitely know that, like, not to mess with other continuities. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Are mm. you getting any kind of weird reception on your end? <laughs> from from you? Well, I mean, from the game. <laughs> well, well, yeah, but that, it's just a really weird sound. Whatever. Wow, it looks like, a, you know, 
So I think Silver has actually does have some chaos control abilities. Like he's going ahead in time a bit. <laughs> Look at him go. It, st it still amazes me that um, I think the only reason Silver is this slow is because they made Sonic really slow in this game. And so that was the and, standard for the other characters. Yeah, to be even slower than Sonic. So it's like, well, Sonic is the fastest character, so we'll just make everyone else slower. Which was a terrible decision. It's like, let's have, yeah, let's have a huge stage that's and with a game that focuses on speed, and then have a really slow character. Because I mean, Shadow is slow in this game too, but at least he's not like deathly slow like Silver. It's like, come on. <laughs> yeah, that damn ball. Ugh. And the camera <laughs> decides to screw with me. Like, oh, where is it? <laughs> Wait, did it fall down there? And I guess it did. Yeah. <laughs> Just staring down up there like, is this what my life's supposed to be? <laughs> Silver's like, that looks like a really good jump right about now. <laughs> Maybe I can find something just down like, there. Forget this. I <laughs> the Iblis trigger. It's down there. The Iblis trigger. Yeah, you got to think about uh, why was Silver going here in the first place? Because Amy. So he's doing all this this whole ball puzzle and stuff because Amy just like says that the person he's looking for is near. Now he doesn't even know who she's looking for. They don't. They don't know. Amy just assumes that they're looking for the same person. No, she doesn't assume they're and looking so, for the same person. But, um, she pretty much like assumes that. Oh yeah, he's not gonna be going after someone like a target. Or that um. Well, I mean. No, not, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. That's not what I wanted to say. So, um. Like, you know, like oh, let's focus on helping Amy first, and then. She can help us find the Iblis trigger. Oh, I'll help out this person in the present. Maybe screw up the future. Because I'm getting involved <laughs> and then, in shit I'm not supposed to be. Yeah, it's it's like, just kill the Iblis trigger and leave. My god, you don't know anything about time travel, do you? Even fictional time travel doesn't go this far. Yeah, like... I mean, I mean not, not that, not this, like, not that, like, uh... Not like what? <laughs> yeah, non-fictional time travel. Oh, yeah, and I mean, because yeah. <laughs> you think of, you think about it, if like time travel is actually possible. Um, the thing is, it's like people think they can change the past and future and stuff, but it's just like no, that's why you went in the first place, <laughs> right? So it's like you couldn't go. Yeah, some kind of circumstance would happen where it's like you could not change something. Exactly. Or time travel just wouldn't be possible at all. And if you did change um, something, well, yeah, you better get your ass back and fix it somehow. Not to mention, I don't think there's actually any way to go to the past. The future you could go to just by, like, slowing down everything else. Just theory of relativity stuff. But you can't go to the past. Hey, let's not try to bring logic into this. This is Sonic 06. <laughs> true. True. Very true. Um, but that doesn't stop. That doesn't so stop us from saying what we want to say. <laughs> yeah. What were we saying about Amy earlier that this Silver just like... Like he just randomly... Mm. Oh, the only reason he even helps her is because she thought he was Sonic, so she grabbed onto him like, Oh, Sonic, I'm so happy I found you. Oh, wait, you're not Sonic. My bad. Like, what are you doing? Mm. Like, I'm um, trying to find someone. I'll help you because, you know, that I, that's how I'm going to make it up to you for invading your personal mm. space. <laughs> Yeah, she she randomly hugs him out of nowhere and then slaps him. No, she doesn't. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she slaps him on the back of the head. He's like, ah. He's like, well, what's what? And so <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I have that effect on people. Look at the time. Seventeen. You're eighteen minutes in. I I know. It's it's torture. <laughs> Especially when you have to wait for the ball to reappear. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like I think I could I could actually forgive the ball puzzle not having Silver be able to pick it up if Silver could run faster. 
but he doesn't. So yeah, f forget that. Yeah, I th I think originally they were gonna have Sonic a lot faster in this game, but it's just like one of the things that was cut due to like time constraints. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's there's several 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 different people say there's different reasons why this game wasn't finished. It's like some people say it was Microsoft, some people say it was the fans. So I mean, usually non-fans say it. <laughs> it was the fans. Like some they wanted to rush out the too. game. I think it was Microsoft because of the X because the Xbox 360 had just came out or something, uh. and they wanted a new Sonic game on it, and um, that's actually why the PS3 version took longer. But the PS3 version was the exact same, so... <laughs> Actually, I think the PS3 version came out at launch. The Xbox 360 version didn't. Oh, no, I remember. I was... Because I, I, I actually got yeah. the game. <laughs> um, back when it was... Back when it first came out. I remember hearing that it was like the PS3 version was going to be delayed. For some reason. Mm. <laughs> they had to port all the bugs correctly. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, not that I've ever actually played the PS3 version, so I don't know. <laughs> and there was actually going to be a PC version of this game too, but they didn't make it, and I think there's obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, you think? It's like people are like, I want this game on the PC. It's why? Like, um... <laughs> why would you like, want to like, no waste? No one would buy it. <laughs> like, why would you want to waste money on making a PC port of this? No one is. Dem no one is demanding it, and Sega's not gonna make a damn profit on it. There's a bunch of people making mods, but I mean that that would be kind of cool. But still, yeah, making mods to actually make the game better. And I think that's why they didn't make it on the PC. It's like, oh, we didn't want you to make a better version of this game. Like, we can't make them tweak the game so that way you know the characters move faster, the levels are better, and the gameplay is better. No way. And we, <laughs> the, but at least we'll be able to keep the story. There's no way they're gonna be able to change that. Mm. Would they actually be able to do that though? Like change the story cutscenes or something? Um, it would probably take a lot of work. Only if you, only if you're really really bored. It probably would take a lot of work too. <laughs> let's let's find all the native files for this game. And all and will actually make animations in that format. <laughs> it's just like, uh. oh man, yeah. But still, I, I can still imagine there being at least some like minor mods for this game if it came out on PC ever. Yeah, but that's obviously not worth thinking about, as we're 21 like minutes into the 2 level. Came out on PC. As mm -hmm. we're 21 minutes into the level, that is inexcusable for a Sonic game. Can you imagine if they actually just like, like this year even released Sonic 06 on the PC just for no reason? Oh my god, people would lose their like, shit. Like on, st like on Steam or something. It's just like, well, we're, we can't lose any more money from this game, so we'll just put it on Steam. <laughs> like the only, but actually like make a workshop for it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> So people can make mods or something. It'd, it'd probably be something really stupid too. It's like, oh, we put the the Mario mod or whatever. Play as um, yeah, play as or, Scout. Play as Sonic with it with his um SA2 soap shoes. But it's like not not even new ones, just like the ones plastered from the old model. Yeah. Um, play as Silver, but not play as actually as silver. silver. In a Sonic stage. Make Silver faster. Make Silver less of a crappy character. Press this button to win the game. Oh god, I wish I had that. <laughs> oh man. More ball puzzles. Uh, I have never had less fun with balls than this game. No. <laughs> hey, don't be sending the wrong message here, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, uh... Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> what else can we say right now about this level that we haven't already said, besides the music is okay and the level itself, like, the detail is just, like, eh, passable? Uh, yeah. There's something weird about this game. I, I don't actually really remember much of this level, but one thing's certain is, like, why the shadows actually look green from from this? I can't tell if it's the video or what. But the shadows look really green. 
I think that's because uh um oh, out it's not the video. I think it's some of the textures or the like No, I mean, that's what I was saying. Is like is it the game or the video? <laughs> it's yeah, it's probably uh the game. Yeah, that's um kind of kind of slightly an eyesore. <laughs> yeah, gee, you think? <laughs> Yeah, the bright orange and the green shadows is just what. You know, if you take out some of the patterns, like on the floors and stuff, and change it up mm -hmm. a bit, it would actually look like I don't I don't know how to describe it. Primitive Hogwarts. I don't know. I think. Yeah, I think the lighting actually needs to be changed more, more or less. It actually. makes it it's, look it's, more it's like good. medieval than like deserty. Not even, not even medieval. It's just because uh, I mean, I, I've seen some medieval stuff and it looks really cool, but it wouldn't be that. Orange. <laughs> yeah, it would it'd just be. It would look a lot cooler, like color scheme wise. Yeah. Um, not like orange would probably just be completely eliminated. It would be grays, blues, stuff like that. Maybe some yellow, <laughs> but you know, not this orange. Which doesn't even make sense for with all with all the um, flames. It's like they're not really that bright. How are they making that much light? I don't know. That uh, maybe that's just game logic. There's fire, so it instantly lights up an entire hallway. Yeah. Aren't you glad? Cool if they made the shadows shadows much darker. I th you know what I'll you know what I'll bet I'll bet this hallway was originally a lot darker, but they changed it because because of like. The one beta tester they had. <laughs> so yeah, aren't <laughs> oh, yeah, aren't you glad that we spent saying... about twenty six and a half minutes on this level? Yeah, it's so it's such an amazing level. I swear, it's probably the best level in in Sonic Six, and with the best I mean, character too. Well, yeah, I mean that's what makes this level so great. I mean, just like look, look at him, just like. The pacing, the control everything. you have just, over the giant ball. Yeah, I know. Just the control scheme is just, <clears throat> it's so fluid. It's so it's so nice. It's just like yeah. The only reason uh, that just, you know I was stuck on this part is because of my like inferior gaming skills, which I need to improve on. I know this this game is actually so great. It's making you really bad at games. I. It's just like you you can't handle this game. <laughs> you have to be an expert at every single video game ever released to handle, you know, just what this game brings you. To, e to even witness this game. We are not worthy. As you can clearly see, I mean, I simply <laughs> failed. I, I, I like how Silver's just like, wait, I can probably get up there. Please. <laughs> just evade I it. I could have gotten it up there, but, uh... You know what they should have done? And how Silver only flies forward, yeah. right? Oh no, he doesn't only fly forward. It's just how long the meter has. Well, I mean, still, it should have made it so it's just like you f you hover there, and then if you press a certain button, he'll like stay relative to the screen, and he can go up or down or left or right. That would be kind of cool. That would make it a lot easier, just so you wouldn't fall into pits and stuff. Not just I can fly forward. But do you met? <laughs> but fly that will that will would lessen the challenge. You know that. That. That, that would improve the challenge. It wouldn't. <laughs> that wouldn't lessen it. But like that, that just gives you the easy way out, you know. The yeah, you're gonna give up on this, aren't you? Oh God, how dare you! <laughs> Rage quit. 